Good morning and a very happy Wednesday to you. You know, if you're heading out right now and you're going to be out all day long, I would recommend go ahead and grab that raincoat, especially if you're going to be out, you know, three, five, six o'clock this evening time. So this morning you may get to work. OK, take the kids to school without any raindrops. There's not a whole lot out there, but we are seeing a few light showers or sprinkles for portions of Jackson County up into Marion County. There's I-24, Walker County, Chattooga County. The most of the rest of the area, you're dry. Now you may have a few raindrops on your car from a few light showers overnight, and we do have those clouds as well. I want to pull back further, though, and this is the reason that I mentioned the raincoats for later today, because just to the west of our area, basically right along the Mississippi River at this point in time, we have this big batch of rain. This is what's going to be lifting up to the northeast and bringing us the rain chances widespread from about 3 p.m. until 1 a.m. So when we look at our chance of rain the next seven days, you got that big 90% block today, 80% tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is generally going to come in the form of some on and off showers kind of throughout the day for your Thursday and uh, some thunderstorms possible as well. Friday at about 50% with some scattered showers, especially areas that are to the southeast of Chattanooga and then another batch of widespread rain on Saturday, finally getting to dry out some Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. So with that in mind, this bulk of rain, we do have flood watches in place. Also, don't forget we had all that snow and ice on the ground as that melts that adds additional rainfall. The soil gets saturated and you have that runoff moving into your creeks and streams. So when we talk about the flood watch, there's kind of three different types of flooding that could be possible. Flash flooding that rapid rise in water river and stream flooding as everything goes into those creeks and streams and then also additional flooding of any low lying areas all are going to be possible. Now, most of our counties from Cherokee County in North Carolina through Tennessee into Northeast Alabama, your flood watches from Wednesday afternoon through Thursday evening. Remember though how I said on Friday that there will be a little bit greater chances for rain if you're southeast of Chattanooga. With that in mind, our Georgia counties, your flood watch lasts until Friday evening. So regardless, everybody be mindful, especially if you know if you live or travel through areas that are flood prone. So as we time everything out this morning, again, there's not a whole lot of morning time activity. Yes, we have the clouds, a couple of light little spring sprinkles or light showers here or there, wind coming up from the south. Even through midday, there's not much activity. It'll be about 3 p.m., so about 2 o'clock central time that we see this rain heavy pushing into our western communities. There could be some embedded thunderstorms with this, but we're not worried about the severe risk. This is going to be kind of hitting Chattanooga right around that evening commute. So from Fort Payne along I-59 to Chattanooga up 27 to Dayton as well. That's going to keep pushing eastward and then slowly through the evening and nighttime hours make that progression. So hitting Cherokee County by about 11 o'clock tonight and then continuing to push through during the overnight hours. I think the 3 p.m. to 1 a.m is kind of the heaviest window, but there will still be some rain during the early morning of Thursday as well. And speaking of Thursday, let's continue through the day and you'll notice kind of these on and off pockets of additional showers and batches and even some thunderstorms will be possible for your Thursday. So from Thursday evening, we'll pull back just a little bit and check out Friday as this front passes over us. That's going to keep the majority of the rain on Friday kind of for a diagonal line. Our southeastern communities, a little bit of a lull by early Saturday morning. So a slight dry out. It'll be brief because then here comes another low pressure system. So basically today all the way through the end of the day on Saturday, just have the raincoat, the umbrella and know we're going to have multiple waves of rain. Rainfall totals from about an inch and a half to up to four inches for our region. And again, we do have that flooding concern, the twofold because of the rain, but also that snow melt does make an impact, particularly those areas that still have some of that on the ground. Uh, a few rivers like the Sequatchie River, uh, South Chickamauga Creek, Paint Rock River, some key ones that are typically flood prone. Uh, certainly we're going to be keeping an eye on that over the next couple of days.